Laurel. Laurel. Yeah, any verse Laurel, episode 52. It's in the books. Uh, we checked out Deadpool. Yeah. Um, gave it a good review. Who are you, Yanny or Laurel? I was a Laurel. I was a Yanny. You were a Yanny, yeah. Well, at first you were like a. Rum, 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 rum. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. It's because of the two options I picked Yanny. If not, I wouldn't pick any of those. Yeah, true. True, true, true. Uh, so, yeah, are you guys Yanny or Laurel? Leave it in the comments. Yeah. Uh, pick up some teas on Teespring. Merchandise. Yep, we got some uh, shop.com. Support. Yes. That's what to do. Cool. And uh, next week we're going to hit up Solo. Yes. So that'll be cool. That'll be cool as well. So we got two movies on the docket. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. I really like this movie for its spirituality. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. We're back. Episode 52. Another movie review. Oh, that all rhymed. That was pretty good. Uh, so we checked out... Oh, this is this is the one where we rate it. We mm -hmm. try and sway each other's opinion. We talk about the movie. Major spoilers. And then we uh, review it one more time. See if we changed our, our initial standpoint. So we checked out Deadpool. Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2, yes. Not number one. Deadpool 2 in theaters IMAX yesterday. Mm -hmm. Across the way. All right. So, what, what did you give it? Seven and a half. Ooh. To seven. Ooh. I love. Seven. I love how I always get excited whenever you give me a score. I'm always like, ooh. Okay. I didn't expect that one. Uh, <laughs> I never seem to expect it. I would give it an eight point five. Okay. Right. Seven and a half. All right. So we're yeah. like we're like one score in between. Yeah. All right. It's not bad. Uh, so what? Why did you give it seven and a half? What well, What was the dragging part that made it? Um, uh. It just felt, I don't know, it didn't work for me that much. Oh, not as, not as good as the first not one, a, eh? Yeah, I think because the first one had the whole, oh, this is something totally new. For sure, for sure. And it got me off guard kind of thing. Right, right you're, you're like, so oh, now I'm coming in, yeah. okay, it's the same kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I like some things. It's basically it's, the exact same movie again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's funny. I, I gave it um, an eight and a half because it was very, it was really good in terms of its ability to, like, uh, make you laugh and like pull you in as a viewer. Yeah, but I didn't have that many, too many points of laughing. Only at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I'll, there's I'll, like I'll good chuckles. That. Like there, there's yeah, some yeah, chuckles. Yeah, 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 but yeah. then uh, the reason why I gave it eight and a half is because I don't even know what happened in the movie. <laughs> like it's it's one of those movies where you're just looking for the troll scenes. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. No, I know, like, I know, you're not I know, actually know, paying attention yeah, to the yeah, storyline. It's line. not really the story. It's it, it's almost like uh, you ever play Conquer's Fat Bad Fur Day? Nah, Conquer's Bad Fur Day for the N64 back in the day. No. All right. It's so basically it's like they just like it's just a troll game. Oh, so yeah. like I don't even know what happened in Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I just remember playing like the Matrix scene because they trolled it, and like playing like the story a little bit because like they trolled it. Yeah. It was just a troll troll game, just like this troll movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it, but I gave it an eight and a half because it was like it still like kept me there. Like mm -hmm. if it, it was able to like mm, distort my perception of reality, like maybe forget that about you know like comedy always makes you forget about yeah, your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those. So yeah. So what, what were your thoughts? Like so, I liked how it started. Seeing that. I see. I don't even remember it. Seeing the the Logan statue. Oh, yeah. Which okay, is funny. Okay. If you didn't it, watch Logan, it's like a spoiler. Right, right, right. Oh, that's funny because it's like, like my sister was saying at the end, like you had to watch the other movies to get this movie. Yeah. Like if you didn't, that's why it's a complete troll movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, no, cause those are the ones I liked, right? Because that was, again, like the whole. The jokes? Or? The jo those jokes that I know. There were some other jokes I didn't get. Yeah, I didn't get some Because I, I get, I don't know. I just don't, like people were laughing, but I, I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Right? Like, like anything to do with, oh, you're like a DC villain or something. Like, that was funny. Or like anything. Because right. really, they're breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, those things I understand. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, like the I, references to I didn't, I didn't to them. find the dubstep thing that funny. I didn't get I felt, that. I, was, I, I understood like, what they were doing. I got doing, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was yeah. kind of like, dubstep's like been around for a while. So it's like, you're not, maybe if he was like, is, uh, is mumble rap still cool? Yeah, you know, like, like something uh, more contemporary. Yeah. That would've been cool. Yeah, because um, Dubstep's already dead. Yeah, it's like yeah, exactly. Skrillex is is like come and went. You know, mm -hmm. maybe that's when the script was built. You know, during that time. Yeah, and that's why. Um, yeah. Well, oh, what else? What, what didn't you like about it? 
I only wrote down what I did like, but like, okay, cool. Because again, the references to the metal arm, I didn't think about it too. Is like, oh, oh wait, Winter Soldier, yeah, oh, that was oh, like, oh, wait, Winter, Winter Soldier has a metal arm, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like those, those are the parts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and like, funny. like, who are you? Like, I'm Batman. Like, those oh, are the yeah, lines yeah, true, that true, I true. know, right? Right, 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 right. Um, like, the funny stuff was, like, you know, the racist thing. Racist. Oh, yeah. Was yeah funny. He's, playing the, he's playing the Indian music. He's yeah. like, can you turn that off? And he's like, <laughs> you will not turn that off. Yeah, and then that, the, and then that Black Todd, that is a white guy. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, those are the things I found humorous. See, but humorous. The, see the jokes weren't memorable, though. Like, I... I like, no, no. The jokes yeah, that yeah, were yeah, memorable yeah. were the ones that were like, I'm Batman. But those were just like iconic lines that exactly, he threw out there. Exactly, but exactly. like the actual joke jokes that he wrote for he wrote for the movie yeah. were not that memorable. No, because I didn't get them. I think because yeah. there's a certain type of audience, I guess. I guess. Older audience, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, or maybe this the script was written a while back. You know. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Because I, I did like at the there. very end how uh, so that that is a thing that Deadpool can do. Eh? He he can travel travel through time. Mm-hmm. He, basically, he teleports. Um, Okay. It, that's his. Um, no, it's not travel through time. It's teleportation. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, he uh, that little. Oh, when dial, he dies. No, the dial. He took it from Cable. Yeah. That's actually in the comic books. Did he take it from Cable? Uh, I don't know if he took it from. Maybe I think he took it from Cable actually. But um, in the comic books, he's able to teleport. That's like that's another superpower of his, but it's not Are a superpower. Sure was... Yeah, yeah, no, no, he can teleport. Um, oh, I don't know anything about that. Okay. It's, it's not a superpower, but it's like it's a gadget that he has. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, but I'm I it wasn't time travel. I'm pretty sure he stole Cable's ability to teleport. Um, but yeah, so I, I like how he went back in time and then killed Ryan Reynolds, killed himself. So those are the ones that I like. Funny. Like yeah, at yeah, the yeah. end, at the end, like after the is it not just before the credits, right? Mm-hmm. Or is like killing off yeah the original Deadpool. That oh, he, he played killed the original Deadpool. That was hilarious. He's like, I'm just cleaning up the timeline. That yeah. was so funny. <laughs> and. And killing him, like Ryan Reynolds, before signing on to do Green Lantern. To Green Lantern. That was really funny. Yeah, so yeah, those yeah. Are, those are like moments I I got. Yeah, that yeah. was right at the end. Though. But see, oh, what's really cool is like I feel like this is a very iconic part. This is a very not iconic, but this is a very um, it's a very like appropriate part for for Ryan Reynolds mm-hmm. because like that's that's kind of just his character. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, already yeah. kind of a troll, so like he's just playing himself mm-hmm. but to a more extended degree. Right. But it's funny cuz like now he can do whatever he wants on social media because he plays Deadpool. So he's like playing the persona of Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He'll like put some like trollish stuff out there, but it's like under the guise of dead playing Deadpool, being mm-hmm. Deadpool, you know. I I like another thing I like was But like, he's always had the smart mouth though. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um when they got all the teammates together, it's like the team together. Mm, yeah, yeah. And then right away they all got killed. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, I was like, oh man, we're going to see some battle scenes. And like, I don't really care about these people. I don't know who these people are. Like, I guess yeah, they're yeah, going to yeah, like. Yeah. I thought, I thought that was going to be longer with the. Yeah, that was going to be super long too. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. With these other characters. So, no. <laughs> yeah. And they all just died really quickly. That was awesome. <laughs> Except for Domino, that was funny. Well, she's lucky, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's the only one that would survive. That. And it, it was funny how they put that too. It's like he was saying how, oh, how do you even show luck on screen? And then the way they filmed it was like, oh, that was that was, yeah, that was pretty, pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you know the vo- the uh, like? Who did you think the monster was? Did you expect it to be Juggernaut? I thought it was gonna be like Godzilla. Yeah, someone or like something, something, something ridiculous, else, like yeah. Swamp Thing. Or I was something. like, whoa! I didn't think of. Uh, I did not think of Juggernaut either. <laughs> I love that they put Juggernaut in. Yeah, wasn't Juggernaut in that other movie? The other one of the X Men. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, but he wasn't like that. Great. He didn't even talk, right? Or yeah, he yeah, did. yeah, something like that. Know, he was, was like, like a weird. terrible character. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, but I really like how um, in this one they kept all the characters to be comicky. Yeah. Like, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Juggernaut was very comicky. Yeah, so it was. Colossus. I like the. Oh yeah, Colossus is very comic-y. The thing with oh yeah, what I want to say with Juggernaut was it was voiced by Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. No way. Yeah, and it's his mocap, I believe. What? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> so funny. Oh wow. Okay, that's yeah, kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, so they didn't yeah, even yeah. need to hire another person. No. <laughs> that's sick. And he was also a producer for this one. Yeah. He really wanted Deadpool to like. Well, I think he was going. in the other one too, right? Because he was the one that really focused on trying to get this mm-hmm. done yeah, yeah. in the first first movie too. That was really funny too. With uh, when he's like, "You'd think that they give us a bigger budget, 
with the X Men, the other X Men, yeah. and they showed that one scene where like they were all in the. But classroom. that was the same joke as the first one, though. I, I remember, remember that in the first one. No, no, yeah, no, it was a continuing joke, but they never showed the X Men in the first one. But so this one, oh yeah, the other thing was that they, they were on uh, on that set when they were filming. I think at Dark Phoenix, those are oh. and then, yeah, 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 they showed them a little bit and then they closed the door. Yeah. Oh, because they were all already there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, okay, yeah. well, we're not gonna. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. It's it's a Fox movie, right? No, no, no. It's still uh, Disney. Yeah, it's, it's Disney owned. Deadpool. Yeah. Oh, the whole thing. X Men's Deadpool too. Yeah. No, no, but I meant prior to it was they were both Deadpool. Uh, they were both Fox, like before uh, the merger. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that explains. That, right? Yeah, I think so. That explains why he kept trying to go in and out of the X Men universe. Like in the first one, mm-hmm. and then in this one too. So I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Because he didn't, and then I did like how they, he's like, uh, relax, Thanos. <laughs> yeah, there's another. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's funny because that they, they are part of the same universe, right? Mm-hmm. So like, if Thanos did come, oh, Deadpool would have been there. Yeah. He would have been. But they're not. I guess it's still different. Mm-hmm. Not in the same world, but in the same world of X Men, there's still a lot of things could could change in the next few years. That's true, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really did like Deadpool, though. He's very cool. A very cool character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, what else you got there? Mm, what else do I got? Uh, I don't know. Anything... I don't know. I, I just... Like, the reason for 7.5 is... I don't know. I just didn't enjoy... Like, I enjoyed it, but I... Oh, what, what was your favorite movie? My favorite part. Okay. Uh... See, that's, it's difficult to find, man. That's the thing. I, I enjoyed some of the jokes, but, like, the best parts, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, it, that's, it's not memorable. It was good. It was really good. It took you out of the world, but I don't remember the movie. Like, we left there, and I'm like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what happened. Yeah. You know? Um, but I guess maybe that could have been its intention, you know? It was just, like, trying to troll, troll, troll. Right, right. Um, I did notice, though, that uh, I did feel... You know, he's like, oh, this is actually a family movie. Mm-hmm. I did feel that from the movie. I was like, oh, I'm actually emotionally invested in his relationship with his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. And yeah I got that. I got that part. Right? Yeah. And emotionally invested with um, him and the boy. Mm. So, like, I did feel those, you know? Yeah. I did feel the emotion. I think that's the most memorable part for me, that, like, I was actually saddened. Oh. You know? Right. But, Yeah. But Cable, uh, I was hoping they would like talk a little bit more about Cable's family. Yeah, which you, uh, you think he's actually that jacked or it's fake? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, they did. Yeah. He did. I was like, is that CGI? Lot, though, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because yeah. I was like, damn, this is like some intense CGI right now. Or probably there was jacked? bits, of course, with the, especially when they add the thing on. What do you think of Cable's portrayal? Who who do you like better, Thanos or Cable, for Josh Brolin? I think Thanos. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I was going to say Cable. I am saying Cable. Well, I don't cable. know. I mean, I I didn't mind this one, though. It was... I bought Cable. I, I like I like his acting better. Actually, well, Thanos was pretty cool, though. Yeah. Because he did have, like, the sad... But you can't even tell it was Josh Brolin and in, Thanos, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. He, uh, when they did the interview, though, he's like, I like playing the Deadpool series better. Well, yeah, because it's a little bit, it's more comedy, right? And, yeah, yeah, unless and he gets he gets more speaking lines. Remember that? And he's like, oh, no yeah. more speaking lines for you. That was a funny <laughs> that was a funny scene too. But I'm, I'm forgetting so many things though. It's That's just, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it's not not memorable. It's really good, not memorable. Yeah. And how do you feel about Logan though? Because I kind of feel like that about Logan. It was like I remember it being really good, but I wouldn't watch it again. Oh. If it was on, I'd watch it again. But it's not like something I'd be like. So yeah, that oh, they alluded everything. that too in the same in this movie too, right? Yeah, yeah, With yeah. Logan and he want him wanting to have a death scene. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I enjoy Logan a lot. No, of course. Yeah, no, I really like Logan too. But it's like, it's not like the Dark Knight for me, where I'm like, I'm stoked to watch it. You know, like, like the whole Dark Knight series, except for number one. I I could watch two and three over and over again. Mm-hmm. You know, number one was cool, but it was like. You, you weren't the Batman that, you know, you're still trying to be Batman. But in right. 2 and 3, it's like you were Batman. So it's yeah. pretty sick. Um, but I feel like for Logan and Deadpool, both were kind of like, they're good. Like, if yeah. it was on, I would yeah. watch it. But it's not something I would actively try and put on. Mm. Do you, like, you know what I mean? Do you feel that? Like, like with um, 
with Batman, I'd actively put that on. I'd be like, yeah, you want to see the Dark Knight again? <laughs> right? But I, I never I never said, well, do you want to watch Logan I, again? Well, the funny thing is, like, prior to watching this, I did uh, watch a few scenes of Logan. Oh, yeah, because you knew it was, like, linked. But I'm, I'm saying, like... No, um, I didn't know before that. It's just... Okay, so I, what, what like there are, well, there's only like see like I like to see Night again, yeah, because Joker was sick, yeah, and then you won't watch uh, uh, Dark Knight Rise because Bane was sick, mm. you know, like those are memorable, but yeah. like yeah. Deadpool was just like if you just want to forget about life for a little bit, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Same with uh, Logan, I felt that too, right? Yeah, there's something about those movies that are I guess because it's such fantasy, maybe you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's like so unrealistic that it's like. Unless you want to escape the world fully, you don't put those on. But if you want to watch something that's kind of relatively, yeah, you know, it it has some deeper meanings too. Yeah. You put on like Dark Knight, Batman. Right, right. I don't know. I'd I, actually even watch Batman vs Superman over um, those Marvel ones because I remember that was like, maybe maybe DC puts like like um, darker undertones, more realistic undertones. Who knows? You know. Yeah, I, those I, those are the ones that worked for me. Right, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, me too. Yeah, there's like a deeper message going on. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of funny actually. Now that I think about it, Ryan Reynolds is the first one to do Marvel and DC. <laughs> yeah, he did. Because who else did Marvel and DC? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but both failed horribly. What? Which one? Like the both original ones. Oh, the both the original. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's why he killed them all. Yeah, that. That's I mean, true. to even be able to do that is kind of cool too, right? Just yeah, that's true. Well, but he's the first. Actor but it was, to again, break it's the, the same wall. joke again, though, right? It was the same joke again about the Green yeah. Lantern. Was, yeah. He did that in the first. It was like it was just like a longer movie. Yeah. You know, more you more budget them, though, but yeah. You could put one and two side by side. I liked. Or who would you like better, number one or two? Number one. Yeah, I like number one too. Dang. <laughs> I did like how I got to see Colossus more in this one. Yeah, yeah. He, he did I, have a bigger role. I did like... I, oh, okay. Let's talk about the martial arts. The martial arts in this movie was actually really sick. I was like, oh, that, that's that's believable. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of the moves, I'm like, yeah, I, I could see that working. Right. Um, Some of the scenes reminded me of, like, like when, when... What's his name? Cable showed up. It felt... It reminded me of, like, like the Termin- Terminator. That's true. As he, like, the Didn't they make that joke as well? I, it's like, I don't know. I think so. He's like, sure. you stole that. Oh, he stole that from RoboCop. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey. What do you think of the kid? Uh, ooh. <laughs> but, uh, I, I've seen I the kid. Know, I've seen the kid in other, the other. Kid. So I've seen the other the kid in, in another movie. He is from New Zealand. Okay. Uh, I, I kind of feel like I like him, but I don't like him. <laughs> like it's like mm, could have got somebody better, but I really like him because he's. He fit the movie. He fit the tone of the movie. Yeah, yeah, It's like yeah, not too yeah. serious, not yeah. too good. Yeah. It's kind of how he was in, in the other movie, too, because he's somewhat connected to all this, too, because he the movie that he was in in New Zealand that I watched, it's all, I think it should be still on Netflix. Uh, it's Stranger Things. No, 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 no. Uh, I forgot the title, but it was directed by the same director as Thor Ragnarok. Oh. oh so that that's that's kind of comedy that, style. That's all that together. And that's where, yeah. I, well, I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Right, and then from there, I'm like, oh, seeing him on here. What do you think about the torturing of the the people who were in the in that place? Remember, he's like, uh, like Domino was being tortured there, and same with the kid was being tortured. Oh, there. right, that place. Yeah, I really like Domino as a character, by the way. Yeah, I did. I, I, I was like, I, wow, I actually you're liked really her. sick. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, you're like really sick. Yeah, because the way they portrayed you, and the way your luck. Was shown. Yeah, how you show that? Yeah, that was kind of interesting. I was like, wow, <laughs> that makes sense too. It's like, and it was really just lucky because it you really did see the luck. Because like when she's like, oh, we're gonna need a bus to get you out of here. But then like one yeah. of the during the big fight scene, like a bus smashed accidentally through the thing. You know, and she's like, oh, that's lucky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I yeah I enjoyed her a lot. Well, what do you th- so what do you think about the torturing scene of the kids? Not the torturing scene, but like that whole little well, premise. Well, yeah, I do understand why they were, he would be for sure yeah, that guy, evil. Yeah. I I liked how Deadpool picks up on it right away because he's so he's so not good. Or, so like, okay, you have like different psychologies going on. You have like the X Men who are all about the the right and the wrong. They're very structured in society. If yeah. society's right, we're going to defend society, right? But Deadpool, because of his fourth wall ability, soup like supersedes society he like he like rises above it and he sees what's really going on mm-hmm. so even though um he even though 
he was hired to help that hospital. Yeah. Uh, he saw the negativity that was actually going on. Right. You know, and he, and he stood up to help. Mm-hmm. I, I really like that. That was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was that was interesting. I did like... It, it's almost like uh, Deadpool in himself uh, is like a, a Taoist approach to life, you know? <laughs> like, he's like not seeing it through structure. Yeah, he's seeing yeah, it yeah, through... Yeah. Yeah what's really being said mm-hmm. yeah, I li- really like that about that character the portrayal serving it yeah. with like non-judgmental eyes that's what he did he mm-hmm. was like oh no the kid's suffering even though we're here to stop the kid yeah yeah that was a cool character portrayal yeah that was kind of cool yeah I did like that right yeah. Maybe, like, it's almost like uh, the best heroes are the anti-heroes because they see both sides of the mm-hmm. coin you know like uh, Thanos anti-hero yeah he like sees the negative he's using the negative to produce positive yeah right. and uh deadpool is also an anti-hero you know true because they're not structured in one paradigm yeah like colossus right mm-hmm. colossus was like his wow we're going deep in this movie now uh colossus was the foil right like he was the opposite yeah. of deadpool nope. yep. where he'd, he'd follow structure mm-hmm. you know oh okay going deeper colossus cannot be broken deadpool's always broken <laughs> Right? Colossus represents society. Deadpool represents rising above society. Right. You know? Even uh, Colossus is the one who... Wow, there's so many undertones. i just, like, clicking together right now. Uh, he's the one who introduced Deadpool to the rules. Yes. Right? He's the one who read them because he's strong. He's, like, he's, he's society, yeah. firm society. Deadpool's the one who wanted to break them. And he kept being broken physically. Yeah. Yeah. And when his... Like, the physical representation of his mind mm-hmm. you know yeah I mean shoot now I like the movie even more <laughs> god damn yeah alright that's cool that's cool I don't know what else to say about this movie. actually wait, 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 wait. <laughs> really? I don't know it L- looking, my mind. looking at it from this philosophical perspective I actually like two better than one now cause in number one they didn't really portray that whole like that whole like Taoist approach mm-hmm. you know they only did that in number two because you saw more time with Colossus. And you saw um, uh, Deadpool looking for his heart, right? Right. So he needed to join the X-Men and then like he realized, oh, this is not for me. Yeah. But he was already a bad guy. So he went, he went both too far mm-hmm. on one, both sides mm-hmm. and then he met in the middle. Yeah. He is the true Buddha. <laughs> like I liked how when they worked together though. <laughs> Too. Yeah, I, d- I did for the same, for the same. Like goal, why yeah, he yeah, was trying sure. not, yeah. It's yeah, same kind true. of reason, but how to resolve it was different f- from both their perspectives. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like uh, it, it, it's all mm-hmm. position. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, they, they did take down the whole school. <laughs> yeah, they did. Everyone yeah, they there. did. Yeah, <laughs> just to save the one boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that was a good movie. All right, I'm gonna bump my score up to a nine. Okay, all right. Because of that philosophical. Dang. All right, that's cool. I I wonder if they're thinking that. Do you think that they had that idea, in, or or I, do all stories? Play I think out all that stories narrative? do. They gotta use something that makes some kind of those kinds of narratives. And right, right, where do right, they right. play? Like or what are these character types? So it's like a generic theme. What that do you they call didn't archetypes? Even, yeah, are there yeah. archetypes? Yeah, and and they didn't even think about it. It's just like it's playing out that way. Yeah, I don't mm. know. Who knows? They could be thinking about it. Dang, that's yeah. some like next level though. If they were thinking about it like that, I mean, where else would there be? You know, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't think they had that. But they didn't happen. have that in number one because I don't. I didn't feel that way. But number one was more like just to introduce who the is story. To who, yeah, yeah true, that's that's, true, what, that's that's what he was saying because the first movie is always just who's Deadpool. We're introducing right, Deadpool right, to everybody. Right, who right, is right. he? How did he become that, that kind true, of person? True, true, true. The true. second movie is when you can do what you want to do now. True. Okay. So I so for if I'm looking for spirituality, I'll take number two. If I'm looking for a good time, I'll take number one. Because <laughs> number one. I did like it better than number two. Yeah. But number one didn't have any, like, lessons yeah. about life. I think one. there was some toned down, like, the, s- probably some jokes were canceled. Because I heard, like... In this movie? Yeah, like, there oh. was a Disney joke, but he couldn't use a Disney oh, joke. too bad. Because of the, yeah. And, and uh, they didn't even say that diabetes line. Murray's like, I got type one, type two diabetes. You're hired. 
Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, they had like a bunch of jokes that they were using in the commercials that never came out. Yeah. Well, it doesn't always come out. It's not necessarily the final product, right? It's that's true. through editing true. and everything. But I kind of like that because then you're, you, you think you know, but you don't really know. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, just like the Hulk scene. Yeah. In Avengers. There ended up being no Hulk. No. You know what would be funny? It would be cool to see if that was a part of the second Avengers Infinity War. Yeah, that's. A, um, I think you should watch it. You'll enjoy it. Oh, I think things. you should definitely watch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, no, no. You, it's, it's like, it's like, um, you know, those movies where like you just have to watch. It's like Marvel movies. It's like all Marvel movies. You just have to watch the newest one just to stay in the loop. You're right. You can't not. Well, I don't think there's a Marvel movie I haven't seen. No, I don't. Right. I don't, We've yeah, seen all true. of them because you, you just have to. You know, none, of, not all of them were good. I'm really excited for Ant Man though. That's really funny. Yeah, only a month away. Oh, I really like Ant Man. Yeah, and the portrayal of that—that that was mm-hmm. so good. I think I like the comedy aspect of it. You know, there's um, they're saying that comedians are the only ones who can talk about life how it really is. Yeah. Yeah, like there's like there's a saying like um, there's a philosopher and a comedian, and they're both doing the same job. Right. You know, um, and it's kind of like that's what Deadpool is. Because he's oh. always dropping the jokes, right? Mm-hmm. But he's talking about real things in life, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Right. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, Solo coming out next week. We'll next probably week, do yeah. that one. All right. So it'll be another movie review if you're listening. Uh, final score? I'm going to leave it where it was. 7.5? Yeah. I'm going to dro- I'm gonna bring it up to a 9 because I just realized something cool about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me want to watch it again now because I'm like, ooh, what other connotations can I pull out? No, I'm not going to watch that again. So the final score, 7.5 plus 9 divided by 2 is 4. Not the science. It's just math. Yeah, it is just math. All right, so uh, yeah, check us out next week for the solo. Yeah. I hear a lot of good things about this one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, I mean, it's all marketing, but... <laughs> You know, it's like oh right, yeah. It's, like the, the, right now is all just marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you like the other the Rogue One? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I really liked Rogue One too, but again, it's another one I wouldn't watch again. I didn't like I didn't like Episode uh, Eight. You mean the new ones, the second yeah. movie of the new ones? Yeah. I didn't really like it. It was kind of like it was good. No, I liked it. You have Some to watch scenes it. were cool. Some scenes were cool, but it's like it's kind of filmed weird. Like. Um, the Force Awakens was amazing. That's like a sick movie, but like, I think a lot of things happened in that movie though, like because they changed directors. In, they did. Yeah, it was a different director for the second one. Oh, so the story oh, was yeah. changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I don't course think so. it's the original because now the the guy that did the first movie is coming back to do the final one. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. so hopefully it'll be good. Yeah. Hopefully. All right. So till next week. Stay tuned. Easy. Deadpool. Easy. Bye. See ya.